You guys have been friends for years, and like he just said, uh, it took it's taken about nine years to get this uh, together. What was it about this uh, story that really made you want to get it together and put and work so hard to make it get on film? Why were you so passionate about this idea? I mean, I think it's just it kept coming back. You know, we have we have lots of ideas, uh, <laughs> and. and um, and as you know, as much as we keep being pushed towards other ones, um, or th there were there are other ones that are easier sells for people, I think. But this one was ours, and it just kept popping back up. It kept feeling relevant. It kept feeling like there was part of a conversation that wasn't being had that we had a, a piece of that it felt like could be useful if it got out there. Right. And so um, I think that's why it. it, it we certainly tried to leave it alone plenty of times, and yet we, we still kept coming back well, to it. Well, you do touch on a lot of important subjects right now, things like gentrification, Black Lives Matter, and everything like that. Why do you think it's important to get the conversation out there with the film? Um, I think that, you know, there, there's a counter-narrative that doesn't get told. In gentrification, we don't hear the story of the people being pushed mm -hmm. out. In police violence, right. the person who, who, who died doesn't yeah. get to tell their side of it and I think we need we need 90 minutes of, of, of your time to tell to counterweight the conversation yeah. um, so we, we talk a lot about urgency mm -hmm. in, in our work like let's let's take on the work that feels the most urgent and like every time we would read this script we're like wow it's, it's sad but this is this is more urgent this year than it was last year and more urgent you know every day that goes by and so I think we finally got to tell this story, we just kept updating the scripts, you know, every year that it didn't get made. We're like, well, here's where the conversation is now. And we got to make it at this, at this, at this particular time, and, and I hope it resonates with people, and I hope it furthers the conversation. Well, one thing I notice is that in the scenes that I've seen so far is that not only is it serious, but there's a lot of lighter stuff, too. How important was it to you to sort of keep that balance going? I think that was, you know, that's yeah. the honesty of, mm -hmm. of how we deal with things, right? Yeah. I mean, nobody's sad all the time. We live in a very heavy world right, right. now. We probably always have. But, you know, if you're paying attention, shit sucks uh, <laughs> in a lot of ways right now. But yeah. we, Humor is salvation. Yeah, that's we right. tell a lot of jokes. Um, and there's also something important about, about the sort of male friendship aspect of it mm -hmm. that we were circling around. And that, that's what me and my guy friends do, right. we don't, you know. Uh, Rafa says all the time there are like two acceptable um, male emotions, which are which are anger and right. humor. Like that's mm -hmm. that's what we are allowed to present. And so when you talk about two guys dealing with some some really hard shit, that's what we do. I was just talking to my friend the other day who's going through a horrible breakup, and all I did was make him laugh. That's, you know what I'm saying? He told me how horrible his life was, and I told him I turned those things into jokes. Right. Um, and that's how we go. Well, one interesting thing about your character is. Uh, your character is basically trying to stay on the up and up, and this guy is sort of a bad influence. Have you ever had friends like that where you you really like them, but they get you into trouble sometimes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why we wrote one. <laughs> yeah, and and also you know the the I, the, char the characters are under different mm -hmm. restraints and different and 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 trying to sort through different things. Where, yeah, I, you know, I think you you know. Miles being seen as a bad influence so it depends on the context in which you approach his character and certainly if you right. approach it from Miles' context <laughs> he's like the most loyal human he knows mm -hmm. which is such an incredible I mean that you know is an underrated that's a thing that, that you don't see a lot anymore like Miles is sort of a dying breed of human who for the people who are close to him will actually do anything okay. yeah. alright well best of luck guys thanks a lot